so much shit in this fucking shithole house. You know, some of my best tenants are crackheads. Some of my worst tenants are crackheads. I'm not going in the needle room. Oh no, fuck no. There's too many obstacles in here. Yeah, here you go, internet. There's needles there. Hot baby. Jeff, come here for. <laughs> I don't think they wanted that in the video. <laughs> Hey James, what do you think people are gonna think's worse? The time that person pooped in the uh, in their apartment and got their mail service canceled, or the time that uh, someone else threw a couch out their window? Well, you gotta remember, it was actually the third floor window, right? So if you don't explain to them it was the third floor window, it's gonna be the pooper any time. But when they hear the whole story about the couch, you know that could be a pretty even match. Brutality, man. So, brutality, dude. What do I think people are gonna think is worse, right? So, the first one, right, it's the pooper. Uh, this guy, I had an 11 unit apartment building. And this dude, he's just a drunk bastard. And he would just get so hammered drunk that he would crap his pants, right? He would just, every day, walk to the liquor store, spend all his money on beer and stuff and booze and just get hammered drunk crap himself, pass out in his crap, wake up the next day, do it again, right? And, you know, if you're not doing anything to affect other people and you pay your rent, like, you're not trying to get involved in your business. Uh, so, like, if you want to come home and quietly drink yourself into a stupor, it's not really my business. But what happens is if you live in an apartment building and you start crapping yourself and uh, there's just, like, mounds and mounds and mounds and mounds of your crap, uh, it starts stinking up the whole building. It got to the point where the building <laughs> was so smelly. Like the post office, the actual post office, who's all like, yo, rain, sleet, or snow, we're delivering your mail. They stop service. They're like, yo, we are not going to send our mail people into your building. Uh, it smells. It is a hazard. You have to evict this guy, right? So we got 10 other tenants who are obviously pissed because their entire apartment smells like shit, and now they can't even get mail. So, of course, we had to evict that guy probably the worst freaking tenant ever uh that is one of my all-time faves uh and that is shocking to people right i would imagine most human beings watching me talk right now when they're thinking about whether or not they want to buy a bunch of rental properties they're probably you know like in their playbook they're probably like oh what do i do if this happens what do i do if the toilet breaks what do i do if the window breaks what do i do if uh you know i need to paint this or that they're probably not thinking like oh what do i do if i get some drunk motherfucker who just shits himself every single day and the united states postal service contacts me and says hey motherfucker we're not delivering mail to anybody that lives here until this guy stops crapping all over the place like jesus right so you got that and then like other stuff right like some of this the stuff that these freaking tenants will do it explodes your brain it's just mind-boggling right like we had this other tenant uh that they realized they had bed bugs okay and this tenant lived on the third floor of an apartment building right so if i realized that i had bed bugs like they found like a bed bug on their couch right they a bed bug infestation on their couch right so if i found out that i had bed bugs on my couch right one of two things i'm doing number one uh, I'm getting chemicals and I'm exterminating. I'm going through the process to remove my bed bugs, number one. Or number two, I'm going to take it and throw the couch away, right? Uh, this person chose to throw the couch away. However, if I were to throw a couch away from my apartment, what I would do is I would take the couch. I would probably recruit another person to carry said couch with me down the stairs. And then I would throw it away, okay? That ain't 
what this person decided to do. This person was like, hey, fuck walking my couch down these stairs. I'm going to open my freaking dining room window, which is on the third floor of my apartment building, and I'm going to chuck the motherfucker out the window, right? So, for anybody who's uh, watching this, who is uh, clairvoyant, who knows the future, who's uh, about to know what I'm about to say, that didn't go so well, right? Throwing the couch out the third story window, not a good idea. What happened is the freaking thing like hooked down and hooked back in to the building and crashed through the window uh, of the tenant who lived on the second floor. And they did this during like a freaking thunderstorm, dude. So like, you just got this lady minding her own business and um, she's just freaking, I don't know, eating dinner or something. Storm outside and a fucking couch comes through her window, man. It's, it's insane. Uh, and, you know, if you've never invested in real estate, you've never been involved uh, with a lot of Section 8 rental properties and things like that, uh, both of those stories to you, you might be like, dude, this dude is just making these things up uh, or this or that. But no, you know, these are these are regular occurrences, right? These things, uh, you know, they happen often. So, I don't know. Which one was worse? I don't know. They both kind of sucked. Uh, I would say, I would say the pooper was worse because that was like a longer, drawn-out process. Um, evicting somebody for shitting themselves, so much so uh, that the United States Postal Service uh, refuses to deliver mail to your other tenants it is actually not the easiest of evictions to go through, right? You get uh, a lot of housing court judges and things of that nature. They start to, you know, in the United States, you're starting to see, like, people starting to lean a little bit left, right? And they don't like removing folks uh, from their apartments, especially if they're not missing rent payments. Um, so I would say, yeah, that one was probably worse. That was overall uh, pretty bad for business. It was pretty shocking for the chick that got the couch <laughs> through her window, uh, but, you know, that's something you could easily fix. The Postal Service uh, required a lot of moving pieces that was not directly in my control or hands. What do you all think? Which one would be worse for you? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.